unfortunate. Well, unfortunately, you're going to have to deal with it as we are well underway. And as I expected, Team Tinker, they are going to go for an aggro try. And this is the Bristleback Sing Sing going for cool space first. They're running down Hani. Hani is not going to get a free meal like he did in the last game. And Sand King, if you're going to go to the jungle, buddy, I mean, you're going to have to be uh, losing some top farm here for Hani and for Rise as well. But they actually are kind of aggressive down bottom. Oh. They might look for a bro strike from Crit, but Koikva should be able to get face shift rather soon. So this is an interesting choice for Crit to be in the bottom lane. And they did ward up his jungle top, so that makes sense why he's there. Horizon and Pycat are going to be laning against one another in the mid lane. And that seems like it would be a good matchup for the Viper, but although he's going to get 3 and 2, whereas Horizon is 6 and 0, or excuse me, 5 and 0. He's just that good. Meanwhile, the overcharged tether, they're going through there looking for Hani. Sing Sing does have Viscous Nasal Dude, not even going for Bristleback early on. Rise is uh, about to get caught out. Magic Missile's gonna go. This is gonna first be your blood. first blood. Bulba getting it. Now Hani getting chased down. They actually that get blocked like in by the creeps. That's unfortunate. Revenge. They tether out, they break the trees. EGM breaks them free. This guy's a damn. Uh, he's, a, he's an IO player if I've ever seen one, so. Ever. Yeah. That's that's I'd say that's pretty true. That's definitely fair. No one's gonna fall through on that. I'll Two minutes in. Tribute. EGM built bottle first, and he's gonna be going for that haste and he's gonna grab it as well. Running around the backside, Rise might not be so lucky. Magic missile is gonna fly. I don't know if they have enough damage. Tether slow is gonna fly. Rise is definitely in some trouble here, and it looks like he Never will fall. He just stood there. The I guess there's nothing you can do, but big question, bull. Sometimes that's just it, man. You just say, no, no more. Sing Sing is destroying Hoppy in this top lane. Hoppy's getting gooed up. Sing Overcharged, but Hani. No, looks like he might fall and will. Magic Missile Sing Sing getting low. Egypt take the tower. Sunstrike! Oh, so close! Sing Sing sitting at 17 HP. That is unbelievable. EGM kept him alive using the bottle charge. Bottom lane. Koifa getting caught out. Phase shift is available. The right click does cancel the salve. There's the surge. Iron Shell doing some work, but Koifa should get away. He's got his jaunt up right now. Phase shift jaunts away and does get the last right click away. And he says, ha ha, you will not kill me in this bottom lane. So, Team Tinker off to a fast 3-0 start. No, 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 no. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Meanwhile, Crit killing two birds with one stone. He'll pro he'll pull a creep camp and he'll actually sandstorm while that's happening. Um, and Koif is just going to jump back in. Crit has no burrow streak. He's got no sandstorm for about 30 seconds. So Quickfu will try to chase Radiant's him down. If he hits his loser, he pretty much gets a kill. Attack. But he realizes that Crit's actually a bit too fast with those boots of speed. He cannot get that kill. Meanwhile, top lane, Hani again getting brought low. Ten last hits for him, so he's not doing terribly, but he's already died once, so it's a bit of give and take. Hani's in some trouble now. Goo yet again. Hani's going to try to make his way out of there. Cool sprays and the right click are doing some work. And they get yet another kill. This time EGM picks it up. They're spreading around the love uh, for Team Tinker. 4-0. and oh. Hani getting shut down. Rotation to mid. Pycat might get caught out here. He does not see crit. The, the nighttime vision is pretty good. Bro Strike is going to go. Sun Strike as well. Broser skin, Viper Strike able to go, but uh, I don't think it's uh, going to do much here. Arise, however, very low. Might fall to Bulba. One right click. And will the tether come again? The spirits, crit and trouble, will fall as well. Big kills coming up from Team Tigger. They're looking for Rise, and they will not find him very close. EGM walks back in the stick up. Rise stays alive. EGM diving too heavily and will fall because of it. So a bit too aggressive. Hani TP's in. Bulba is going to take a spill. Good rotations back from Fnatic to at least get something on the board here. Um...
I mean, this is a very early game oriented lineup for Team Tinker. Is he going to be able to waiting rift and kill crit it looks like he no he can't get it out in time but Bulba does wave of terror ace is blocked in Bulba has magic missile he should use it to kill ace and it looks like he will do so ace uh, his stout shield is helping out a lot but here comes sing sing cool spray there's the nasal goo as well it is level two surge but the last cool spray from sing sing and his bristle back will get the kill they're chasing down rise now Bulba magic missile mana not there yet wave of terror misses rise jukes into the trees beautifully Stay in the trees, my friend, and you'll live. However, here comes the eye. Oh, oh, they know. They know. Rise is in some trouble. Concussive shot. Ancient seal. The right click. The arcane bolt. Sunstrike. EGM, what are you doing, buddy? You might fall. He will. Rise gets the trade with the help of a rise in the mid lane. That is, is going to get old quickly. Pycat's diving it, by the way. What are you going to do? Look at this. Rise getting caught out. TP rotation's a bit slow, and Pycat will get the kill. Sunstrike not on the mark. Now Rise is going to get a some right-click damage coming to his way, and Pycat will get yet another kill, and that's going to get him at least his buckler. He already has his headdress. So Pycat's mech is looking at about 8 to 10 minutes or so. And when you see a mech on a Viper, that's really where you want to be. Usually you get it through just pure CS because you're in the safe lane, but Pycat's mid. And this is something you don't see enough of, I feel like, is a mid Viper. He is destroying this poor invoker. Denial! Pycat is really putting on a show. Again, he did last game, too. We all know how that ended. Which is unfortunate. But, things are looking a bit better here for Team Tinker in the early stages of this game. And they don't have to rely on a Medusa late game, either. It's really about that early game pressure. Uh, Puck is still sitting bottom quick for sitting at about 1,200 gold, so he'll probably look to make his way towards an early game Guys, blink tag. Meanwhile, rotation mid from Ace and Rise looking for Pycat. Not the best target because of Corrosive Skin. In fact, he has that maxed out. They're surging towards Koikva, it looks like. He has an understanding that this is happening. He can always just jaunt away if necessary, even though Ancient Seal will be an issue. They're trying to wrap on him here, and it looks like he will get caught out. But there is a rotation from Bulba. Rise might get caught out here. Koikva's going to back away to concussive shot. He avoids it with phase shift. There's the Dream Quell. Rise is in some trouble. Nice Ancient Seal coming through, but the wall coming out, that's not going to do much. Ace, Viper strikes him there, he will surge away. He realizes he can't chase him down, so... They get one kill, they have to use the Dream Quell, but wall is expended on the other side of things. Arise is farming in the mid lane, but top lane is getting pressured pretty heavily. What's the Sand King been doing? Crit's been alone this entire time. He's sitting at about 900 gold at 9 minutes in, so nowhere near that blink timing that we're used to seeing from somebody like FY God. But... Great, you are having a rough cast, my friend. Ace is gonna fall in the top lane. Burrow strike onto EGM. Crit's like, I came to the wrong neighborhood, man. He's gonna sandstorm up, and Sing Sing is just gonna keep spraying his quills, and Crit's like, I guess I'm dead. Yeah, I guess I'm dead. <laughs> Crit just stops in the sandstorm. He just sits in the sandstorm. He's like, oh, hey, I, oh. Oh, shit. So Sing Sing gets the double kill. He's already up to treads on a ring of health, plus a bracer. He's got everything under the sun except a full item. Internet connection problem with our Skype call. You've got to be kidding me. I give up. That's it. <laughs> Mott's getting upset. <laughs> Tier 1 tower is going to fall. Bristleback is going to get the kill. Greg. <laughs> Listen, man, we're going to make it. We're going to make it happen. All right. <laughs> <laughs> what happened, dude? Give me the update, the uh, details. <laughs> Wait, did your computer actually crash? Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. <laughs> All right, I gotta keep a straight face on. Crit's getting, <laughs> Crit's getting caught out. 
Viscous needs a goo. Crit is running towards the Tier 2 tower in the top lane. He's going to burrow straight quickly onto EGM, who they will explode with the Sunstrike. Connie comes in and Corona's onto Sing Sing. Luckily, Sing Sing has a Vanguard. They turn to the front of him. He's getting every time lock proc in the book. And there's the wall as well. Sing Sing might fall, but not before he gets the kill on Hani. Sing Sing sitting at a measly 37 HP. He will fall to Arise, getting the double kill. They finally get something going their way, man. But they expended a lot. Fnatic had to work everybody up towards the top tier two tower. Arise finally gets his Midas. Meanwhile, mid lane, Pike takes down the tower. He Viper strikes on crit. Wave of Tear will probably come through from Bulba. Uh, silence comes in. Crit is in some trouble. Magic Missile, man. They are running down uh, this poor, poor Fnatic squad. Yeah, they have the mech now on the Viper at 11 minutes in. He just finished that up, and they took down the Tier 1 tower. Hani is yet to get any real semblance of farm. He actually has a Morbid Mask somehow and Boots of Speed, so... That's true. That's true. He only has 42 CS. I mean, actually, that's pretty good in comparison to what he should have. I mean, Quick is 33. Uh, yeah, three times. Um, net worth chart leading the way, obviously, is Sing Sing with Vanguard. He also has an extra bracer. Um, he has two bracers, in fact. He has two bracers, treads, a Vanguard, and a buckler. Sing Sing is all about that tanky lifestyle. He's a tanky bad boy, as Dakota would say. Yeah. Ace is gonna TP away in the mid lane. I'm gonna just I'm gonna describe this to you as best as I possibly can through radio voice. Um. Haste. All right, so you have an understanding of what's going on, sort of. Two minutes ago. <laughs> Smoke of deceit from Quick from Bubble. They're gonna head up to the high ground here on the opposing river. They're gonna head up towards the uh, secret shop, and Quickfoot is leading the way again. The puck. He's got a blank dagger. He's got coil. They're not gonna find anybody though. And the tier 1 tower bottom is still for the taking. Crimson Guard is done at 1240 for Sing Sing, by the way, in case you were wondering. And he's taking an Ancient Sack while this is all happening. Top lane, this does give a lot of room, however, for Heine to farm some more items, or at least any item for that matter. Looking at Crit, he's got 1300 gold, so still nowhere near the Blink Dagger. And uh, yeah, Team Tinker are effectively choking out Fnatic right now with a 5000 net worth lead. And uh, just a bit more farming from both sides right now. Nothing too crazy here. But it looks like we will see a ball up coming out from uh, Team Tinker down bottom. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Team Tinker Pycat is going to lead the way here in this bottom lane. You can see Sing Sing Bulba is actually down Dyer's behind them. Sing Sing's up top looking attack. to try to stop the pressure in the top lane. He Radiant might be able to just kill everyone on his own. Vitality Booster, Crimson Guard. Uh, two bracers. I mean, Sing Sing's about as farmed as you could possibly get on this hero uh, at this period of time. Tier 1 tower should take a spill bottom. They're taking a long time to take it down. They don't have the best pushing heroes. Bulba runs right into Ace. Magic Missile. Tether's going to come through. Viper Strike. Ace gets blown up by Koikfa and his... Uh, Oh, Chronosphere comes in from Hani, though. He catches Bulba. Not doing that much damage. Gonna check EGM. And it's like, well, I actually can't get this kill at all. Magic Missile connected, but he backtracks this... You know, the amount of damage coming through the coil is going to connect. And Loser are blown up. Koifla gets yet another kill. Arise now getting brought low. He's going to fall as well. Three dead now. Fnatic are getting run down. Team Tinker. This is without Sing Sing, who is top. EGM relocates back home. Buys his treads. He's going to relocate back in on his own, mind you. They'll take the Tier 1 tower down finally. All the meanwhile, Crit is still farming way, getting towards that Blink Dagger. They realize that without this Blink Dagger, they will not be able to win the game, and he's still not there yet. And 14 minutes in, Team Tinker are destroying them. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Dyer's top tower is under attack. So, right now, as it stands, Team Tinker are in complete control of this game. All they really need to do is get Sing Sing involved in some of these engagements, and they just win. That I feel like that's just the case. Um, Sing Sing is still farming top. They're pressuring bottom with the Tier 2 tower. If they leave top, then they give Sing Sing an open chance to take the tower. 
If they leave bottom, then the tier two is gone. They mech up. Team Tinker will take yet another tower, and uh, that's the first of the tier twos to fall. Pycat getting very close to getting uh, his Aghanim Scepter. He also picks up a casual cloak, so if he didn't have enough magical resistance already, he's sitting at, let's see how much exactly, 52% magical resistance. Meanwhile, Sinks are getting caught out. Ancient Seal, Mystic Flare, they're 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 expending a lot for this, and they will get the kill on Sinks. And Crimson Guard gets popped up, but that's at the tail end of his death, and that provides crit his Blink Dagger. Which they desperately needed. How much did they get from that? 1,200 gold for just killing Sing Sing alone. Getting the majority of that was a rise at about 500. So that's something. And he's going to be going for a Necro. But on the other side of things, Poiful blows up darts here. So there's that. My gratitude. Radiant's top tower is under attack. The thing I, I, I fear for Fnatic is in that first game, Fnatic had obviously Slark. Hanu was very farmed in that situation. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. And, and it just seems like they're getting further and further behind. Even Arise was farmed as well. I mean, Arise isn't too far behind. He is a Necro 1, but at 16 minutes in, you'd like to have a Necro 3 at this point with a reminder so. Or at least close to it. And, uh, I mean, now Crit does have his Blink Dagger, yes, but he's got to make something happen. And with the amount of magical resistance coming out, amount of damage resistance coming out from pretty much every hero on this team, I mean, you're, you're, you're talking about having to get really lucky with this epicenters. He will find Koikla. Some tricks should connect. Phase shift just in time. Deafening Blast does connect. He'll try to jaunt away, and it makes it out. Mystic Flare and Pycat doing some work, uh, but not enough. However, Hani jumps in with the Chronosphere. Grabs one, might grab two, but here comes Sinkson. The big bad tank coming in. Vacuum back will connect and kill EGM, but here comes Sing. He wants to rise, and he's going to find him. Lose your heart for Koikla. Assassinating him on the backside. Looking for more ace as well as Hani. Have to back away. Crit teeping out. The so Sing Sing comes in and cleans up and gets attack. two. Although they do get Pi Cat, which means that the fight definitely goes in favor of Fnatic. I mean, these are. The kills that they're getting for Fnatic are much more valuable than that of Team Tanker, so. Top tower yep. is under attack. I mean, that, that was just great space creation coming out from pretty much every hero on Fnatic. Unfortunately, 6 6 too tanky to deal with. They lose the tower top lane also. Hanu was trying to deny it, but the Siege group does take it down. So tier 2 gone. Meanwhile, vacuum wall going in. EGM and Pycat get Mystic Flare. There's the mech keeping them alive. Ancient Seal on Pycat. He wants Ace. Deafening Blast does not connect. They relocate out back to the base. And they stay alive. They relocated to try to get to the kill in the first place, but uh, EGM TP's back mid. Pycat's going to buy his Aghanim Scepter, and they stay alive in that engagement. So they take a, a fight where they don't get a kill. Uh, they relocate. They get nothing out of it, but that's okay. Bristleback is sitting at 2.6k health. Or gold, rather, not health. Not yet, anyway. He's only got 1,700 health, but uh, he's got 2.6k gold in the bank, so he might buy a heart. I mean, he has a, a Vitality Booster. I don't know what else he buys. I would imagine he would have gotten Soul Crowds, but he's not going for it, so... Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Here, Echoing. Crimson Guard's gotta go. Tier 2 tower is gonna fall. Viper Strike now coming in on the rise. Our rise is like you gotta be kidding me. Get swapped back, Magic Missile, he's dead. Uh, so they take the tier 2 tower, they take a kill. And all of the outer towers are now gone. Greg has reconnected to the game, hallelujah. Ladies and gentlemen, we have our man. Buyback from Arise the Invoker, getting back into it. And Pycat now working on this tier 3 tower, but Ace is looking for wall. It's on cooldown still for another 16 seconds. Sing Sing is leading the way. Blink Burrow Epi destroys poor EGM. Now Hani's going to try to start this fight off with a big chrono, but he gets silenced. The waiting rift. He's in trouble. Oh, Illusion Rope gets backtracked. The right click. It will be enough. Bulba getting the kill. Arise falling as well. He just fought back. Viper Strike. Crit in trouble. Sing. All he needs to do is spam quills, and crit will fall. And it looks like Magic Miss is going to go as well. Four dead. Team Tanker, they're back with the Vengeance after that first game. They want to take this second game, and they want to take it hard. And they're doing just that. Dyer's middle barracks have fallen. 
You know, I'm really glad this is the game that you decided to have these issues on. <laughs> I wish you could hear yourself right now. You have an echo. It's great. Not anymore, actually. It just went away, but whatever. I mean, I told you. I said you had an echo a minute ago. Listen, it's fine. Sing Sing's taking the tier 3 tower. It's going to take the spill. Uh, Ace is, again, still looking for this wall. He is finally at level 11. Blink Bro comes in. Actually misses. I think uh, the GM Isle got away. Sing Sing. He is going to work on crit. Crit is going to fall. The wall does nothing to him. Ace is going to try to TP out. He'll make it away. Nope. Dream Girl just kidding. He goes down. Hani, he will get a chrono, but only onto Pie Cat. Mystic Flare, they blow everything on him. He gets relocated out. What a player. EGM keeping him alive. Now they work on Hani. Magic Missile. Double kill. Four dead. Viper Strike arise. Boom. Jackalaka. GG is called. Team Tinker. A big victory coming to them. Fnatic. GG out at 21 minutes in. A far cry from the first game. What a game coming out from Team Tinker in game number two. Impressive stuff coming out from Team Tinker. Hey guys, if you enjoyed that game, don't fret. We have four more games to come. Moscow 5 versus Complexity is going to come up right after this. And following that series, I'll be joined by none other than Kyle Guy to cast EG versus this Fnatic squad. So it's been an absolute pleasure. Again, shout out to our sponsors, Twitch, Sennheiser, Sapphire, AMD, and Tessero. Of course, we're highground.tv. You can check us out over there on our website. Check us out on Twitter as well. Twitter.com slash highgroundtv. Twitter.com slash dota for me. Twitter.com slash whatishiptv for Greg. Um, and of course, check out Twitter.com slash dotapit and dotapit.com as well. If you've enjoyed the cast, make sure you check out the ticket. $9.99 in the store. Comes with that beautiful Lich set. Highly recommend it. We will take a break, guys. It's been an absolute pleasure. We'll join you for our first game of Moscow 5 versus Complexity in just a moment. Stick around, everybody.